I look at him and he looks at me and we're both happy. I think going to adoration is the second most intimate way to spend your time with Christ. But I know his love for me through that gift of peace. And it's something that I, I need very much. I need it to you know, kind of focus where I should be and how, how I can be the best mother, the best wife. You do that, give them one hour, your spiritual life will take off. It will improve. And so when I realized you know, that Jesus, his divine essence is there, that really it's kind of a way of us by faith participating what the saints enjoy in heaven so that we can see God here on earth and be with him. So when I come to adoration, it really is an hour of the Lord telling me to just be quiet and to put my trust in Him. And so of course I always offer prayers up for my children and my husband and my extended family. You feel that you are, you are with Him and He is with you. So you have to be in, in presence and ask Him what you ever you want and He will give it to you. He has already said it. So we understand, we know what it is to hunger for the bread of life to hunger for the presence of Jesus, and we're drawn into that presence as we celebrate the Eucharist. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. And our time to spend with the Lord in adoration is a, is a prolongation of our encounter with Christ. I come to adoration because it's the place that I first fell in love with Jesus Christ. And every time I come to adoration, I rediscover that love. And here you're sitting right in his presence, putting some of your problems and your contradictions and all that, those things that cause anxiety in the temporal world, and saying, this is right, right here. It's, it's you and me in the room. So I go to adoration um, because the Lord is totally present, totally vulnerable. Um, he told his disciples that he was giving himself to us in the Eucharist, and um, and as that gift of self, uh, it's just a great way to just be present with him. Thank God for when you have problems, bring them to that Eucharist. You can bring them to the church, whatever. Bring them to the exposed Eucharist. Get there, whatever you want to do, pray, meditate, read, whatever. But bring, bring it to the, bring it to the Eucharist, and he'll take it and he'll help you. And I wish I can. I can pass the word to everybody, you know, telling them how important is the, the, the time that they spend with the Lord. And I go to adoration because I need that, that strength, I need that peace, I need to spend time with the Lord um, face to face. That's why I go. One then develops one's friendship, you know, with, with Christ through that, through the, the prayer and through being in the presence of, of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. So if that were to stop, it would be, you know, like a friend moved away.